you have created a file with three sheet metal bodies. They work great, but all of a sudden you realize that you need them as components. Maybe you need to add joints to them. Maybe you want a flat pattern per component, whereas a body can only have one per file. So you right click on it real happily and say create components from bodies. You get the message that you kind of up the creek. It's not supported. So you say to yourself, wow, I got to go back and create components and create the whole bodies again under each component? No. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert bodies into components, sheet metal bodies that is, into components without having to go back and start over. To get started, you want to go to the solid menu, create, go down to boundary fill. Pick on the tool and by tool they mean the body that you want to convert. Click on the select button and hit the checkbox to select that body. You want to end up with a new component. Now this option is up to you. Whether you need the body for future work, you can also remove it, which I'm going to do. That's totally up to you. It will remove the body and replace it with a component. Say OK. As you can see, we have a new component. The body is there. It's now not, it's not a sheet metal body now, but it's there. The sketches for that created did not come along, but are available in the sketch folder. Since the body is not a sheet metal body at this point, you need to convert it to sheet metal. Activate the component, go to the sheet metal tab, and select convert to sheet metal body. Sheet metal, excuse me. Pick on the source, it will recognize the material, and say OK. As you can see, it's now a sheet metal body. You can do flat patterns just like normal or you can unfold is a true sheet metal component. So now you have a component for the body. As I mentioned, the sketches for that particular component are in the folder for sketches and can be used to change the size or any other features of that component. But they are outside the component. Let's do another one for good measure. Be sure you go back to the top level and make it active. Go to the Solid tab, Create, Boundary Fill. Pick on the tool, which is the body you want to convert. Pick on Select Cells and select the only one available. Change to New Component. Again, it's up to you whether you remove the body or not. I'm going to do that. As you can see, the body is gone. We have another new component and the body is a solid body. So activate the component, go to the sheet metal tab, under create, convert to sheet metal, then pick on the sheet metal part wherever you like and accept. You now have another sheet metal part under a component, a body under a component. Go back to the top level and repeat for the last one. So now you can use this model and components for joining to other components or themselves and have a flat pattern for each one in, in the same file. Let's just activate that again and make the flat pattern. So as you can see we have a flat pattern for each of those components. Hope this helps you do better work in Fusion 360.